I think it's time to start a new robot, a new mech. This is going to be a four-legged, smaller carrier drone that will feature in a diorama, in a nature scene. Welcome to Cut Transform Glue. I had the idea for this project from the shape of this food container right here. Anyways, I was making some housekeeping right here and I found this food container which is in a really bad shape as you can see. And I thought this was going to be a good uh, shape for a body of a smaller carrier drone. But of course, as this is made of a thin plastic, I need to reinforce it. Yeah, so thin and beat up that I almost couldn't use it for the project. But I kept going, adding tons of hot glue and some hot plastic pieces, like this uh, desk cable grommet. It really adds some structure to the food container. In the middle of that, I added another uh, plastic gribbly to cover the hole. And right on top of that, I'll add this piece right here. This is actually the wheel from a VHS tape. Once I was satisfied with what I had, I glued the, the lid of the food container to it using more hot glue and I also added a disc of acrylic to the bottom uh, to add even more structure. And I wasn't happy about the hole that the uh, VHS wheel had, so I glued a tiny gribbly right there in the center. Then, as you can see, I took some measurements uh, to be able to precisely uh, 3D model and print uh, these pieces right here. Uh, those will go all around the food container, uh, not only adding even more structure to the whole thing, but also to make it look cool. Now, of course, this is a walking drone, so it needs legs. So let's begin by making a waist for this robot. Recently, I found this gribble right here. It looks like an air vent and I really like it. And this uh, gear right here fits perfectly in the middle of it. And that will connect the waist uh, to the body of the robot. I 3D modeled and printed the, these uh, fins right here to, to make the air vent look cool. And I also made a cover for this uh, interesting white gribbly. I then grabbed some older uh, leftover 3D printer pieces that were uh, kind of discarded uh, from older projects and I glued one on the top and one to the bottom. Let me know in the comments if you know the source of the project where these two uh, griblies came from. If you want to support the channel and help it keep going, I have a Patreon going on. Right there you get access to some high definition photos of the projects, I have a Discord channel going on, and there's even a tier where you get access to all my 3D files including the ones you see in this video. So please uh, check the links in the description box if you want to help me, now back to the video. With some laser cut acrylic pieces, I'm creating uh, right here uh, the attachment point for all four legs on the waist of the robot. I just did some trimming uh, on the corner of each piece to give it an angle uh, so that it sits like this, like in a V shape on the bottom of the waist. And to each of these uh, four uh, acrylic pieces, I'll glue a ball joint. This is the same ball joint I use in all my projects uh, where I need some uh, freedom of movement that I developed uh, when I was making the drone dog. And this is the result, now let's talk about the legs. Let me show you how I made the legs. I don't know exactly why, but I decided to begin the legs by the lower leg segment. As you can see, I began by using some strips of styrene and some griblies. Uh, those were glued with some CA glue and also some weld bond glue for the styrene. Of course, as always, uh, I used some laser cut acrylic pieces that were glued to the styrene using weld bond glue, as you can see right here. The weld bond glue is so thin that it finds its way in between the pieces and it kind of fuses the acrylic and the styrene together. Of course then I moved on to adding some 3D printed pieces like this one right here, one to each side. And that is pretty much it for the lower leg segment. 
Now the middle leg segment is much simpler. I simply 3D model and glued a couple of axle pieces uh, to that clear gribbly right there. I then attached some uh, thin laser cut acrylic details uh, to that uh, middle structure. And this right here is the result. It seemed to work well on the test fitting, so yeah, I'm moving on to the top leg segment. And to make the top leg segment, I decided to use uh, this gribbly right here. Some of you guys will remember, this is the same gribbly I used on the laser combat robot. Not the entire gribbly though, uh, just a piece of it. Using 3mm styrene, I created a box around that gribbly. Then I 3D modeled and printed this one right here. It will sit on top of this laser cut acrylic piece. The same laser cut acrylic piece I used on the waist of the robot. That 3D printed piece has a hole right in the middle uh, to fit another gribbly, this one right here. I then added some angles to the styrene strips. And glued the two pieces together with some CA glue. I then made this uh, piece right here, which fits perfectly on the middle leg segment and glued it to the front of that gribbly right there. And I added the same laser cut acrylic shape that I added to the lower leg segment to the side of the top leg segment with some wild bond glue. And this very good looking gribbly right here goes right in the knee of the top leg segment, which I 3D model with a precise slot to fit it right there. And this right here is the result, uh, this is the final look of the leg for this small walking uh, carrier drone. I really like the design, I think it works well with the body and I also like the range of motion. But of course I had to make the same thing three more times. But when putting everything together I noticed something was wrong. See, uh, the waist is too small and the legs are interfering with each other. But I think I have a simple solution. I'll just move the back legs uh, further back a bit and outwards like this and I think it will work. As I'm working with laser cut acrylic, I can simply remove the ball joint piece with some force. But as you can see by my unhappy face, I removed the wrong ones. No big deal though, I just had to glue the piece back in place and remove the back ones. And off camera I made this uh, ugly looking piece right here uh, and primed the whole thing. It goes right there in the back and throws the, the back legs uh, backwards a bit and also outwards and yeah, now the robot is able to stand up and the legs are not interfering with each other. And I also made four uh, temporary feet for the robot using a gribbly and some 3D printed pieces to connect it to, to the lower leg segment. And yeah, this right here is the result. So far this project has uh, 28 pieces going on and yeah, it will get bigger. I still need to take care of some issues like I have right here, some cracks on the body that I need to take care. But I really like the overall design and the size of this project. And yeah, of course, I still need to make the things it will be carrying on its head. I'm thinking at least three or four boxes uh, being stored on its head. And yeah, for the base, I will try new techniques uh, using grass, maybe some nature scene. This week on Patreon I got some pictures of one of my first scrap pube projects that I've made many years ago and that is not on my YouTube channel. This week I want to welcome Pascagoulian to the Patreon family and as always thanks for watching.